I think of how much I can do with diabetes, it's amazing. But then I wonder what I could do without it. A cure for diabetes would drastically change every part of my life, really. There are over 450 million people around the world with a form of diabetes. In Canada, um, over 300,000 have type 1. The consequences of high blood sugar levels are essentially a, a withering away and a destruction of the entire body. They can have kidney failure, heart failure, vision failure, amputation from circulation issues. And so if your disease is not managed, these are the things that can happen. Ella uh, was diagnosed unexpectedly um, when she was two and a half. The strength that Ella shows and continues to show um, through everything, she's the strongest person I know, and she's only eight years old. That's what's inspired me to do more for her. Drifcam is a philanthropic organization that was set up um, in around 2000, 2001. Our mission is to accelerate the cure for type 1 diabetes by directly funding Dr. James Shapiro and his team here at the U of A. It's a bunch of people that are affected in some way, shape, or form, either type 1s themselves or have family members uh, who are affected with the, uh, the disease that really want to see a better way of life. We are carrying out research that is completely cutting edge, that will change the future of diabetes. I was diagnosed just after my fourth birthday, so about 12 years now. Managing diabetes is a lot of work. Luckily, I don't have to just rely on how I feel to monitor my blood sugars. I have um, a continuous glucose monitor. The first few weeks were, were, were sleepless. They were hectic. Um, it was a lot of just trying to figure out what we had to deal with. Surprisingly, there's a lot of numbers and a lot of math involved, <laughs> which we weren't really expecting. Um, but just doing calculations and, and now counting carbs and really putting a lot of effort into to reading nutritional facts on everything that we were, were starting to buy at the grocery store now. For a parent to have that experience where um, the doctors tell you, life as you know it has changed forever, your child has type 1 diabetes, um, is life altering. For most parents, it ends up affecting their careers, their life, because they take a step back to be able to be there for their children to make sure that they get through that day and get home. We could finally figure out exactly what her blood sugar levels were at all points during the day when she went on to the Dexcom, and whether she needs to, to either settle down or eat or get more insulin or whatever it is. Those types of things have made things a little bit easier, uh, though still certainly a, an uphill battle. While insulin is life-saving, it doesn't fix everything for patients with type 1 diabetes. So we have some really cutting-edge clinical trials that are designed to completely change the face of type 1 diabetes. So what we've been doing with the Edmonton Protocol and with the recent advances in that is placing cells back in the body, in fact in the vein going up to the liver, and these cells produce insulin from moment to moment, second to second, exactly what the body needs to reverse diabetes in a way that an insulin injection could never do. They harvest islet cells from the pancreas of a deceased donor they process them, put them in a solution, and then they inject them into your body. And it really is a miraculous uh, type of a procedure in that I had been insulin dependent for some 30 years. And within a very short time afterwards, I was completely off insulin. And for the next, ins the next year, I was insulin free in terms of having to take any kind of uh, injections. They're not cured because they still have to take anti-rejection drugs, but they, they live a, a normal life, essentially, not having to do finger pokes, not having to inject insulin. We are um, using stem cells, insulin-producing cells that we're now transplanting patients with under the skin in a, a series of iterative trials looking to be very promising. And the ultimate step for us is going to be growing patients' own cells so they don't have to take any anti-rejection drugs and these cells will be completely compatible with, with the body. And we're working on that actively in the lab right now. 
with Driftcan, direct cure-based funding allows Dr. Shapiro and his team to keep moving those innovative, cutting-edge trials forward at a faster rate. We can't carry out this kind of level of research unless we have funds to support it. There's you know, team involved, technologies that we need to have access to, drugs, antibodies. We can't move things forward without funding. We are short of patients, really short of patients, and if you're keen to be involved in research and want to be part of the future face of diabetes, come and roll, find out more about it, and we can inform you. The proof is in the pudding, and I consider myself to be proof of the success of the research. I'm only one of many whose lives have been um, changed dramatically for the good because of this research. How many carbs was the uh, cereal? Uh, that was 22 carbs. 22 carbs? Yeah. First thing that I would do if I was cured of diabetes today is to bake a giant cake. I don't know why, but that's always the first thing that's popped into my mind <laughs> since I was little. And I, I wouldn't bother to check the carb counts when I was making the cake. I, I, I just put whatever I felt like on there, all the, all the icing and the sprinkles and the whipped cream and whatever, and I would just not think about it. And, th and that's really the thing that I'm most excited for, to have it here, is to not have to think about it, to have this burden taken away.